Hey everyone, it's Stephen Wagner with the Tech Journal at www.stephenwagner.com. Today we've got a Synology Disk Station DS1621 Plus that uh, Kyle over at Synology was nice enough to send me. Uh, he also included an E10G21-F2 dual port 10 gig SFP Plus NIC and a D4ES01-8G 8 gig DIMM uh, RAM slot uh, to put inside of this puppy. So. Um, in this this video is going to be very short and sweet. I'm just going to do a simple unboxing and I've got to apologize This is the first unboxing video that I've done with this new setup here Tried to get the lighting as good as possible. So uh, forgive me if it's a little bit shot Now keep in mind that I have not opened this box yet. It's been sitting here for about two or three weeks um, I was waiting for the drives to show up the drive showed up last week I was hoping to play with it on the weekend, but didn't get a chance because I was working on some other videos So um, doing the unboxing now and as soon as we get this video done I'll be able to start making some other content about uh, getting this unit set up and everything So first off we got a little box here Network cable We got some screws this is a very nice plated nick, just like the first one, and a power adapter. And of course the Synology disk keys. These are the keys that actually, uh, when you put the disks inside of the NAS, you can actually turn them and stop the disks from being able to be ejected. We have a quick installation guide. And here's the unit itself. I almost dropped it there when I was trying to take it out of the box. That would have been pretty bad. And like I said, I haven't opened this. We've still got it factory sealed with the tape. And there it is, the Synology Disk Station DS1621 Plus. So on the front, you can see that there's a total of six bays. Now what's really nice is that these bays, they're toolless bays. So the thing is that you can actually pop this guide off. I'm not gonna do it on the video here. All right, there we go. And so you can actually put the drives into these carriers. And because of the little grooves here, you don't actually need screws and you can just pop this on it. Then when you're ready to install it, just slide it in, click it, and you're good to go. We've got a power button, we've got network activity LEDs there, and power status. And on the back of the unit, I'm just gonna cover up the uh, serial number here. We have a uh, low profile PCI Express slot, which uh, we'll be populating with the dual port SFP plus 10 gig NIC. Uh, we've got a couple of eSATA expansion ports. These are to connect to Synology's uh, expansion uh, bays so that you can actually add quite a few more disks to this. Now keep in mind that it does go over the eSATA protocol, so you are going to be limited to some, to some uh, slower speeds, especially if you have a number of disks connected to those. But the bright side of the thing is that if you want to expand the storage, let's say uh, you hook up another expansion bay. You can use the secondary expansion bay for backup and then that way the speed isn't too big of a problem. Uh, archival and that sort of thing. And then you can keep all your high performance storage inside of the main unit here. We have four one gig NICs uh, and then we have two USB 3.0 uh, ports. Two big fans. These uh, are supposed to be user serviceable and user replaceable. And then of course the power adapter. Now on the front we also have another I don't know if you can see my thumb there. We have another USB 3 port so you can hook up external hard drives. 
Now, one thing that's pretty cool about this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take out all the drive carriers. Is that inside of the unit, I'm gonna to try to show you this so that you can see it. You'll see these two slots right here where my fingers are. Those are for NVMe disks so that you can actually install cache. Now, in order to use cache on this unit, if you populate one of those bay, NVMe bays, you can get read cache. If you actually populate both of the NVMe slots, you can get read and write cache, which, which will actually significantly improve the performance of the unit. Um, so that's something that I'm really excited to play with, but Anyway, so that's it. It's a nice little beautiful unit, nice and solid, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing with this. So again, Kyle, thank you so much for sending this out to me, and uh, in the next couple of videos, we'll, have, uh, we'll be covering setting it up, getting going with it, and all that kind of stuff. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.